So what do you, what do you think? It's quite a beauty, isn't it, yeah? This version, this version, and, and it's just yet one configuration, this version of the eCascadia is configured with e-motors at the axle ends that provide 730 peak horsepower. The batteries provide 550 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. And the vehicle in this configuration has a range of 250 miles. And better yet, we have created the ability to recharge the batteries up to 80% of their capacity in about 90 minutes, giving the driver another 200 miles of electrified range. When you look at these stats, this is just our starting point. We will answer the same questions on e-trucks that we have been answering for trucks at Daimler since we rolled out our first commercial vehicle in 1896. How can we improve the range? How can we improve the payload? How can we reduce its energy consumption? And most importantly, how can we improve the real cost of ownership for our customers? We have much to learn, but we are well on our way. Let me tell you a little bit about this truck. When the driver sits in the captain's seat, they will find that the truck is equipped with state-of-the-art driver instrument instrumentation in a human machine interface, HMI as we call it, designed to provide vehicle performance data in the driver's field of view. The HMI allows the operators to make quick and informed decisions for optimizing the performance of the battery electric powertrain to match their use case needs. So let's talk a little bit about customer use cases for these types of vehicles. The Class A tractor here is designed for local and regional distribution and drage, especially the short haul movement of intermodal containers, be they from rail yards or from shipyards. Overall, this is an ideal application for customers whose routes have a distinct range radius and its operating model provides time for battery recharging. The rail and ocean port applications are well suited because the trucks make two to three round trips per day on a dedicated route from the port to the staging lot. The trucks, the trucks travel less than 150 miles per day and they are able to charge overnight at dedicated charging stations. The driving environments for these types of trucks and these applications is very predictable. We're also addressing the needs for inner city and urban pickup and delivery, beverage and short haul applications as well. For our customers operating in the pickup and delivery services, they are typically running on a more or less dedicated route. We will install battery charging stations at consistent locations to provide the customer the ability to make round trips from their warehouses to multiple points around the city, anticipating that they're going to be running less than 150 miles per day. Now, other use cases abound, but in the heavy duty segment, you will find us concentrating initially on port drage and the short haul pickup and delivery uh, types of applications. So guys, this is our heavy truck story. Um, but we're not done. We're not done at all. We also foresee a battery electric vehicle in our medium duty market. With this in mind, we also set out to develop an e-sibling to our successful and high performing M2. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the EM2. Okay, hold on, come on guys, guys. I know usually we make this great fanfare with smoke and mirrors and music, but you really got to hear this, or not. <laughs> this first generation of the EM2 has 480 peak house horsepower. It has 325 kilowatts of usable battery capacity, giving it a range of about 230 miles. And in 60 minutes, you can get about an 80% charge back up on the battery, battery, giving the driver another 180 miles of range. Like with the eCascadia, we will be taking advantage of the stop and go traffic in the city to recharge the battery through regenerative uh, braking technology. Now, it's easy to find use cases for the EM2 today. It's, 
along with the school bus, it makes the most business sense for the deployment of battery electric vehicles. And we expect high customer demand for this truck when we make it available in series production sometime in the next two to three years. I personally am really excited about the potential of the EM2. So where are we going next? What's, you know, a couple nice show trucks, what's next? This year, this year, 2018, write that down, we will be deploy deploying our Freightliner Electric Innovation Fleet. The Freightliner Electric Innovation Fleet, starting with the delivery of the first 30 E-Cascadias and EM2s to our customers. To customers that are hauling real freight from real shipping docks to real receiving docks in real cities here around America. So we're not announcing today our participating customers, but stay tuned for some announcement this, this announcements this autumn where we'll showcase not only the whole fleet of trucks, but the applications we're putting them in. Now, both electrified models, both the E-Cascade and the EM2, are designed to fit specific customer applications with the greatest success chances in the real world. Our innovation fleet customers helped us identify these applications in an extensive co-creation process over the past few months. The Freightliner Electric Innovation Fleet is designed to meet customer needs for electrified commercial vehicles serving dedicated, predictable routes where the vast majority of the daily runs don't exceed 150 miles. Right now, DTNA is also partnering with customers to investigate further use cases that best suit their business operations and deliver real improvements and their real cost of ownership. We will only deliver vehicles that will drive the business of our customers. And it is our goal that the real cost of ownership is at least equal between the combustion engine and the e-truck solutions that we will offer. These innovative trucks reflect our commitment to bring practical, game-changing technology to market. The E-Cascadia and the EM2 are adapted from the best-selling platforms in North America, the Cascadia and the M2. And I'm confident, I'm absolutely confident that these vehicles will offer our customers the emissions-free solutions they want for their fleet to meet their real business needs. During uh, uh, the Freightliner Electric Innovation Fleet testing, and as more electric commercial vehicles are delivered to our customers, we will leverage our dealer and service network, the largest and strongest of any truck manufacturer here in North America, to offer unparalleled access to factory trained technicians, factory parts, and factory support. We will provide the support our customers have come to expect from Freightliner, regardless of the powertrain they have integrated into their vehicles. Our innovation fleet customers know and appreciate our collaborative approach. The innovation fleet rollout is designed to spur questions, challenges, and opportunities from our partners and customers to help us further our goal to develop commercial electric vehicles that eliminate emissions and enhance our customers' bottom lines through improved uptime and lower operating costs. Obviously, though, without an infrastructure to support and charge these vehicles, there will be no e-trucks on the road. We understand that selling commercial electric vehicles in the new e-mobility era, era will require, and we have the responsibility to give our customers support on the infrastructure side. On the battery charge infrastructure side, we're focusing on two things right now. Number one, we're providing our customers with expert consulting to help them figure out how to bring the infrastructure they need to their terminals, their ports, their hubs to meet their charging needs. And two, we are heading a char-in task force to develop a new commercial vehicle EV charging standard for North America for the benefit of our customers. Our parent company, Daimler AG, is a founding member of char-in, the charging interface initiative, and is their goal to develop a standard charging system for battery-powered vehicles. So you might ask, what's the timeline? Well, the timeline's now. We're there now. Today, Daimler Trucks announced the broadest electrified commercial vehicle lineup in North America. We are deploying the Freightliner Electric Innovation Fleet starting this year, and our experts are helping our customers understand and deploy the needed infrastructure. For our Freightliner e-trucks, we will pursue a proprietary 
integrated electrification solution with series production starting in 2021. Our deep understanding of our customers' business and our customers' needs, coupled with our global scale and competencies, makes us uniquely qualified to support our customers in, in achieving durable and reliable solutions with economically beneficial costs while realizing the transportation sector's CO2 targets. As Martin stated, it is our ambition, it is our goal, it is our target to become the undisputed global number one leader in e-trucks and e-bus business. And as you saw today, we at Dyma Trucks North America are clearly committed to achieving this goal. So, thank you for your time today. I'm running out of breath. Uh, I should not have had that hot dog. It has been my pleasure to share our plans for leading the charge in all dimensions of trucking for electrified commercial vehicles. Our path to e-mobility is designed to set the tone for the next generation of environmentally friendly propulsion systems for now and for our future. Thank you.